Hey, welcome back. Today's Swiss Army Knife will be the Winger Pathfinder. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. Okay, the Winger Pathfinder. As we see, it comes in this box. And then we have a part number or an identifier number, but it looks like it's been corrected by an ink pen or something like that. So I'm not real sure. Uh, but it does kind of add up to the model number for the US market as we get looking into it. So, all right, let's open it up, see what we get. We get our knife. We get our care, use, and maintenance pamphlet from where? Then we get our look at that knife now. I don't know if this had tape on it or something like that, but I've cleaned this knife a couple of times and I still get that kind of residue on there. So may take some further cleaning down the road. This is an 85 millimeter. Technically a five layer knife, but I'm gonna call it four layers because the orienting tool takes up uh, two layers there. And it's right at three quarters of an inch, scale to scale. Now this model was targeted towards the hiker or backpacker. And the Pathfinder features the compass and orienting, orienteering, can't say that word, tool. Features red synthetic scales with the image of a backpacker imprinted on the scales. And it says it's imprinted, but my fingernail catches it, so my assumption is that this is a hot rolled version. It carried a US model number of 16997, and the identifier for that was 1 decimal, 1 2 decimal 2 3 which is exactly what we see corrected on this box. So again, I don't know if it was wearing off and somebody touched it up, but either way. And then again with this model, we get a little bit of a convoluted identifier history to cover. So the Winger Classic 12, model number 1.12.29, features red synthetic scales, but no hiker. The Backpacker 12, which has an identifier number of 1 decimal 012 decimal 029 decimal 000 replaces the hiker image with a boot print and then there's the evolution backpacker 12 model number 1 decimal 012 decimal 029 decimal 300 that features the red evolution skills with the boot print image alrighty so on this model, we get the keyring keychain. We get a four-turn solid corkscrew. We get the winger style of Reamer All. We get the standard opening layer with the crab claw can opener. The cap lifter, wire bender, and hollow ground screwdriver. But as we see, once my fingerprint goes away there, we have the patent stamp there. So we do get the torsion lock. And we get what makes it a pathfinder, in that we get a compass and orienteering tool. And as you can see, this has got a little bit of rust inside of it, so I would say it's leaking or has condensation built up in it. And then you've got a couple of scales one way or another that you can use to figure out your um, lines on a map. Can't think of a term right now. Then you get the wood saw. This one has a nail neck on it. And it's a little bit different pattern than a lot of the, the winger knives that I have, so I'm going to assume this is an older pattern. Again, I have a lot of trouble 
finding uh, definitive sources to date these winger knives. So if you know, hit that comment section below so we can all learn. We get the standard main blade. And then for Tang stamp, we get Winger, Delmont, Switzerland stainless with a bow and arrow. And this has some kind of old grease or oil or something on it. And as you can see, we do have some scratches on our main blade. And then nothing on the rear other than some scratches. Then instead of a nail file or a small blade, we get the flat Phillips that we have seen before on a few knives, uh, such as the Swiss Outdoorsman or something like that, from the L.L. Bean Company, where it had a logo on, the, on it from the L.L. Bean Company. We get our scale tools to include the toothpick. And the tweezers. We we'll get another look at that backpacker emblem. I really like that. Uh, I've seen a few, I don't know if they're camper hiker models, the winger variant of that, that have that emblem on it. And that's actually what I was looking for when I found this one. Uh, just couldn't pass up picking up a Pathfinder basically in a box. That was pretty neat. So okay, some related models are the classic 132, which is a three layer knife that removes the ruler compass and features the backpacker image. You have the backpacker 2, which I have a video of on this channel. That is a three layer knife, removes the ruler compass, and a small blade replaces the flat Phillips. The backpacker, which is a three layer model, removes the ruler compass, the small blade, uh, replaces the flat Phillips and the corkscrew is replaced by the Phillips. That's part of the difference between a backpacker and a backpacker 2. Then you have what's called the winger whistle which is a three layer knife also featuring the ruler compass. And I highly encourage you to hit SackWiki's website <coughs> excuse me, and look at some of the variations of the orienteering tool. And I'll try to throw a picture in here just for reference. But that about does it for this knife. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe below, and as always, I appreciate your time, stay tuned, and be nice to one another.